Yeah, well. Poor Macaroon. At least we've solved that puzzle for him. Anyway. I believe we've got to get back to our car. Oh, we have something here, apparently. Oh. Y your boy's missing. Oh dear, that's not good. Neither did I! Wow! What are the chances? Hmm. Oh, great. Missing child on a train. Joy. I don't believe I've seen any boys now. You know, you don't quite look like a, the kind of woman to have a little boy. Too flamboyant, you know? I thought Coswell assist you. Oh, shut up, you cow! Jesus! The shoe left behind it needs Tom. Right. That shoe's tiny! Um. Hmm. Neither did I. Maybe, um. I don't know. Ooh. While riding on the Molin Terry Express, Babette's little boy, Tom, manages to disappear. If the shoe he left behind is any indication, Tom must be a very young child. Where could a child that small have wandered off to on his own? God knows. Way, Time to go searching! We're rolling, rolling on the Oh, whatever. While walking through the train, Luke and I entered, encountered a lady by the name of Babette. This woman, large in both stature and character, was in a dreadful panic over her lost boy, Tom. It seems the child got away from her while she was distracted, leaving only a single tiny shoe behind. Where could a child that small have wandered off to? God knows. I've just repeated that twice now. Oh, God. Anyway, let's see. Can Chow me help us out? Oh, we had a... Oh. Just oh, okay. Hmm, it is going to be a struggle, but um, we'll offer our assistance, of course. That's what a gentleman does. Oi. Oh, sure. Of course we'll prove ourselves to you, Inspector. Zero to zero, the shoe shop sh thief. Woman pays £30. Oh, for a pair of shoes. Pays fifty pounds. He gets fifty, uh, but it was a fake. So, oh. in total, how much did he lose? He lost fifty pound. This should do the trick. Woo! Okay, clearly I'm not. Just, and you know, there we have the it. Emotions of proving it. Oh well, the sly cow. Rude. Oh, how kind of you, Inspector. You're just as rude as you were when you were Don Paolo. Please, oh god. Funny looking lady. Um. Okay. Fine. I have to solve everybody's puzzles on this train. 018, the shoe maze. Basically, get to the red square, swapping foot every single time. Come on. And that's your pathway. Quite simple, really, you know. And now to test my, my theory. Mwahaha. <laughs> ha. A true I'm a gentleman genius. leaves no puzzle unsolved. I'm also a true gentleman. Don't forget that. Oh dear, sorry about that. Hehe. <laughs> you can see a bit overexcited and punching the microphone. Boom, boom. Oh. Oh, it's Sammy Thunder. 
Well, his, his name, Sammy Comfrey, hasn't been introduced itself to us yet. Oh, you numbskull. Uh, we'll find the camera pieces for you. Yes, 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 we'll do it. We'll fix it for you, you know? Now we have another mini game! Woo! Two mini games already, it's a shocker, isn't it? We've got to rebuild the camera. Which is similar to the dog in the previous game. Oh, there's the luxury cart. Carriage way. VIPs only. Yeah, oh, thanks. Great. Mmm, they must be very rich to get to there. Oh, yes, quite. Right. Yeah, you just keep going, trying to get through for a little bit. Really quick week, please. Oh, got a puzzle. Yay! Zero one nine at the train journey. Uh, fractions. What is the lowest number? Oh, whatever. Here goes. Yay! Legends Apprentice strikes again! If there's six, is six is the lowest number of people that can be on the train. Because then they all get off. Mm -hmm. uh, how pleasant of you. Where do we go next? Let's go into the kitchen! Oh, something's behind. Oh my god, it's a hat! Looks like Tom's, if I believe. Hmm. I'd hazard that. How does it guess? Yes. Oh! Luke, you're giving us a puzzle, eh? Interesting. 014 red caps. Teacher has everyone in a class closed eyes and she puts a cap on their head. Whoever sees four or more people wearing red caps gets a red balloon. Whoever doesn't get a blue in a class of ten children, how many got red? Oh gosh. Six people got a red balloon. This should balloon. do the trick. Because there were six kids with red caps. And there well, there we were four it. kids with red caps. Simple. Oh, Luke. Better luck next time. He must be very, very small. Hmm. So why would he go into the kitchen? Hmm. I think I've sussed out this mystery already, but um, I can't quite divulge the information quite yet. Oh, creepy ladies asleep. Ugh. Do not need to see. Do not want food scraps on the floor. It is possible, though, if that's the case, the child is certainly lacking in the manners department. Quite right, Professor. I think we've got another puzzle coming up. Woo! Always. Oh, you see another puzzle. I'm a genius. Zero, one, six. Crazy daisies. Which one is exactly the same? Here goes. It's A. I think. Legends of Twenty Strikes Again. Yes, A is the exact same one, but in reverse. Oh, well, trust me, when I first did that puzzle, it was not a breeze, I don't think. 
At least I don't think it was. Hmm. Oh! Dog and girl. She looks familiar. If you've played Curious Village or watched my Curious Village walkthrough, then you guys should recognise that girl as well. And I think I pretty much have sussed out where Tom is. Mwahaha. But until the game does it itself, there's not much we can do. Apart from... Walk along the train. Oh, of course we'll forget what you said, Sally. We'd quite frankly insult... Oh, you were talking about, um, Granny Riddleton. Who has now appeared in the train carriageway. The beautiful and clever and Granny Riddleton stands to help. Luke, we haven't met this Granny Riddleton. You see she's wearing a pink jumper and a pink band. The Granny Riddleton we met was green. Oh, okay. Come on, then. I think we get th we get this same speech every single game. Which is kind of hilarious, really, but uh, there we go. It's for the people who forget about Granny Milton, which is kind of hard. Let me just look at her. Very easy to forget. Especially with that laugh. <laughs> well, we've got no business with Granny Riddleton, so we're just gonna leave her be. Oh, Steve! With a something on his head that looks kinda wrong. Um, hmm. Oh, we say in it. But as you can see, she makes she sounds a pound, makes my job dead easy. In fact, I've got so much free time lately, I made up a puzzle all by myself. How about it, then? I think he's trying to be Cockney. 025 Surviving in the Wild. Which one gets out? Basically. Because only one animal is going to get out of this zoo, and they're going to eat each other. Otherwise, it's the lion that and gets now out. to test my theory. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. unsolved. Because you see, the rabbit would also get out, but he gets eaten by the lion. Poor rabbit. Blimey, you didn't have to polish that one off quick. Well, of course we polished off that one quick. It was simple. Simple as pi. Although pi is a complicated number at 3.142. And so on and so forth. Aha. <laughs> Oh, let's have a talk to Chester. He hasn't seen the little boy either. Oh! Oh, let's go find this couple. The fourth carriage, okay. Thanks, Chester. That's gonna help. Leighton and Luke find Luke, find Tom. Although, I think I already know where he is. And you guys probably should have guessed it by this point, too. It's a pretty obvious mystery, if I'm honest. Oh, look at this old couple. Aren't they sweet? D oh, no. Capone, we're, we're not... I'm sorry to intrude, but we're looking for someone, you know? Mitzi. Capone and Mitzi. Bizarre names. You see? I think it's pretty obvious who Tom is now. If you don't get what they're going on about, then, um... Yeah. Yes, we need to return to the scene of Tom's disappearance and talk to Chelmy, because... 
I think Babette's been lying to us, you know? If you don't get what the whole mystery is now, then something is wrong with you. What they were talking about explained it. Oh, zero two one, pass it on. Oh, it's Chinese Whispers. It has so many different names. Jeez. So yes. Takes about three this minutes to pass all the message along all seven players, I think. Yep, a true quite right. Leaves no puzzle unsolved. You see, three minutes. Wahaha! 